So a company that we are all well too familiar with known as GameStop has had a recent surge in their stock market prices over this past week. Today, the wild surge in GameStop shares continues as a clan of Reddit traders wreak havoc on the Wall Street pros. Send in the gold. That's right, this is the same company that was going out of business and claiming bankruptcy in the earlier parts of 2020, and it's the same company that offered me about 10 cents for my 20 video games that I had with them. Yeah, GameStop, I'm never gonna forget that one. Y'all were some cheap Now, nothing drastically has changed with this company's fundamentals, but that doesn't explain the recent surge that we've seen with the stock market and the recent millionaires that have been made in trading GameStop stocks. So by the end of this video, you'll have a full understanding on why GameStop stock has been soaring so significantly. We'll also be discussing behind the scenes of what we're not seeing on the front end that major news outlets are sharing, which is more specifically of the war unfolding between large hedge funds and retail investors just like you and me and towards the very end of the video I'll also be going over exactly if this is a position that is too late to catch is the train gone or can we actually make it I'm going to be talking about some alternative stocks that you should be looking out for with similar results that we may get like GameStop has gotten before we get started with this video one this is water, I am not lactating. I was drinking some water before uh, starting this video and I spilled a little drop. Number two, I am not a financial advisor. Don't sue me for whatever I say in this video. This is all strictly for entertainment purposes only and at the time of this recording, I have zero stocks in GameStop so I don't, I don't even have a financial incentive. This stuff is genuinely very interesting. I spent the entire day doing research, reading through every Reddit community I can think of, going through stock tweets, going on Twitter, looking at the social hierarchy of behind the scenes of what is happening in the world with GameStop because it looks like major news outlets are either lying or have no idea what is really going on. I, I, I can't really see what's driving it at this point. One more thing, I do have a little treat for you. I actually have four little treats for you, which I will be giving away to people at the end of this video. So why has GameStop stock started to skyrocket over the past few days? Simply put, this is happening because of a term known as a short squeeze. Now, if you don't know what a short squeeze is, that is completely okay because dun -da -da -dun, I was able to find this nice little Reddit post that explains what a short squeeze is for dummies. Now, I don't wanna say any of y'all are dummies, and if you have to be one I wouldn't ever admit that either let's say five bananas currently cost a ten dollars one ape on the market has five bananas so let's say character two comes along and his name is snake snake asks to borrow five bananas for a bit and instead sells the five bananas thinking price will go down soon he thinks he can buy them later for less and give them back to ape so he makes a profit on the difference this is known as shorting if you've ever watched the movie The Big Short, this is what it's all about. We had the one main character towards the end of the movie that went ahead and shorted the entire stock market going against what everyone was saying and was able to make a profit while the entire US economy collapsed. So the group of apes notice what stupid snakes are doing and decide to buy all bananas on the market until snakes have no other choice than to buy from the group of apes in order to return what they borrowed. Now to end this thread, the last bullet point was if groups of apes stay strong, then price will go up. In this example, the group of apes are gonna be retail investors like you and me, and the snakes are gonna be the hedge fund managers. We know that there are a significant amount of short positions in some of these companies, and if you get enough people to start buying those stocks, what end up happening is these companies, because they borrowed these stocks or borrowed this money, if the stock prices continue to go up, they'll be paying a significant amount of interest on that amount so the next thing that they would have to do is to buy more shares of that stock. When retail investors are putting in more shares and then the hedge funds who originally have short positions are putting in shares as well, you're gonna start seeing this exponential growth that keeps pumping and keeps going up and this is what is known as the short squeeze. Look guys, this is much more than a simple short squeeze. What we are witnessing right now is a current surge of new retail investors that have heard about stock investing from the evergreen bull market that we've been getting for the past few months 
and from the crowdsourcing information that we are able to get from social media like communities of Reddit, Wall Street Bets, and Twitter, and so much more. There has never been a point in history where we've had so much access to this type of information on a day-to-day -day basis. Another thing to note is that we did come out of this recent pandemic where a majority of people who were at home decided to learn more about things like stock market investing. Now, let me tell you this. I've been doing YouTube for about a few years now, but I've always been looking out on the stock market scene in this niche. I would say about two to three months ago, there has been an explosion in the stock market growth of viewers, subscribers, and views on this platform of YouTube that I've never seen before. I am comparing this surge in traffic to the stimulus check that we've seen before in the past because Right now, more than ever in history, I believe people are trying to learn how to invest, what the stock market does, and it is absolutely incredible seeing a bunch of new people enter the scene. But I also do need to emphasize, we have been in a pretty bull market since the crash back in April. What that means is we're not gonna have green days all the time. We're not gonna see these potential opportunities of joining a short squeeze with other people from a community on Reddit and to take down a hedge fund. This is all very historical stuff and I really wanna emphasize that. Right now, there's no fundamental analysis. There's no technical analysis. There is no quantitative analysis. These are all basic procedures that a normal investor would take into consideration before investing their hard earned money into some of these companies. Right now with GameStop, it is not like that at all. There is no analysis. There is no fundamental principle that people are reading into that are gonna guide them in the direction that they should take. In order to figure out what to do, you're gonna actually have to look at the social hierarchy of what the stock is trending about. And this means going on Reddit, going on social media and seeing what other people are saying. The last time we have seen a short squeeze like this was back in 2008 when hedge funds lost $30 billion on the Volkswagen stock infinity squeeze which is known to literally be the mother of all squeezes. If that was the mother of all squeezes, I can definitely see this being like the, the grandmother of all squeezes or, or maybe the great grandmother. Now I know I just hit you with some weird terms like infinity squeeze and we've heard of short squeeze. There's one more you need to know of. This is gamma squeeze. It's a little bit more complicated describing the different types of short squeezes out on the market. But what you just have to realize is that infinity squeeze is gonna be a lot more significant than a typical short squeeze that we've seen in the market. It pretty much happens in different fluctuations. Once we have the short squeeze, we may see an additional push from other hedge funds that continue to pour money into this while other retail investors don't back down and then we get to the point where we see an infinity squeeze that we've seen with Volkswagen. So I know what a lot of you guys may be thinking, well Brian, is it too late to be a part of history? Is it too late to join the little Davids against the big Goliath? Here's my answer. In my opinion, GameStop still has a strong chance of going to the moon. This is purely based off of speculation and what I'm reading on the forums, but it looks like the Reddit community, it looks like people who are onboarding this, and it looks like the influx of media attention towards this stock is only going to drive it higher from here. Now, I do believe at a certain point, we are gonna hit the top, it is gonna go back down, but I do believe that there is still space for this stock to hit an all-time high. I would not be surprised if we see GameStop going up to $1,000, which I know sounds crazy right now, but based on past evidence of what we've seen with the Volkswagen Infinity Squeeze, this is still an unprecedented moment where potentials of a new all-time high is not out of the question. I know that if we continue to see a stock like this soar, there will be many more millionaires made just from investing into the stock market. I do also want to mention, please don't let fear of missing out get to you. When it comes to stock market investing, you don't need to get lucky once. You can still make a good amount of money by sticking to the basic fundamentals, by sticking towards basic principles and knowing how to analyze a stock and learn how to invest properly. Now, if you did miss out on the GameStop train, which I don't think is still too late at all to join, I did come up with this list right here that I've done research for that you guys could potentially join as well. Not financial advice. This is literally a list that I called war on Netflix. So if you did miss out on GameStop stock, these are the ones that other Reddit users are talking about in order to, so number one on this list is gonna be Express, ticker symbol EXPR. The next one on this list is gonna be Blackberry, uh, ticker symbol BB. The next one is gonna be AMC, ticker symbol AMC. After this is gonna be Bed Bath & Beyond, BBY, and then we have the infamous GameStop 
on this list. I do wanna mention that I do have positions in AMC. I put $10,000 into that stock and I put $10,000 into BlackBerry. And oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> this is live right now, by the way. Well, if you're watching this video later, it's not live, but this is live for Brian Jung. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. So I put in $10,000 less than eight hours ago and I made $7,660 or 86% back in profit. So my investment has already almost, almost doubled. I think by tomorrow morning, we're gonna see AMC hit a high of $10 and hopefully this is gonna be the next stock. So. I will let you guys know if I put any positions into GameStop. I do plan on putting more positions into this. I'm gonna be doubling down on this time. If I lose everything, so be it. I need to learn my lesson from my ignorance. But I also wanna mention, if you're in a tough financial situation, this is not something I recommend you to do. I have a much different risk tolerance than most people. I'm younger and the income that I'm generating at my age is rather uncommon. So please don't think putting 10 grand into these stocks is a normal thing for someone my age. This is something that I highly recommend you to do research on. But if I'm telling you advice right now, uh, as Brian Jung, not YouTuber Brian Jung, not investor Brian, not, not anything, as just regular, your friend Brian Jung, I would say, yo, drop some cheese into AMC, okay? You'll make, you'll make a return right there. Now back to YouTube Brian Jung, everything I said was not financial advice and entertainment purposes only. I will let you guys know how much I end up closing this position by. I will hold it for a couple more days. I will see what the forms are saying. Now to close this video out, don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed content like this. One last thing, I did not forget about the four little treats that I mentioned earlier on in this video. If you guys wanna go ahead and pick up four free stocks. If you have not yet signed up for Robinhood, use my link down below in the description. If you have friends or family that don't have Robinhood and you wanna get them investing, look, if you sign up for Robinhood using the public app store, whether it's on iOS or Android, you're not gonna be getting free stocks added to your account. I went ahead and got this new partnership with Robinhood that I'm so excited for, where Brian Jung subscribers right now can pick up four stocks completely for free. So all you have to do is this. Sign up for Robinhood using my link down below in the description. You'll get one free stock once you sign up for the app. On February 1st, they're gonna be depositing three additional stocks into your account. I've been using Robinhood for the past five years. I've never had a promotion like this. I don't even believe I got a free stock when I first signed up. So it is absolutely incredible to see them do this and to start treating some of our viewers. So if you guys wanna check that out, links will be down below in the description. Thank you all so much again for watching this video. Like always, I hope you guys have a great day and peace out.